WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 2 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we've got a relatively calm market out there so far. Dow Jones in negative territory, mostly having to do with Boeing, having a tough day quite a, uh, yet again. We have the Dow negative 70 points, trading at 25,579. S&P's positive by 12, trading at 27.96. NASDAQ positive by 51, trading at 76.09. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield, 10-year note up 7 ticks, 122.27, 30-year bond up 25 ticks, 146.13, and dollar index negative 214 ticks, trading at 96.960. We'll start it off. Let's jump over to the futures markets, and we'll start it off with the Dow. Of course, Boeing weighing heavily, and why not? We do it this way. We'll jump over. Boeing, BA. 7% down as the U.S., one of the only areas really where the FAA is standing steadfast in their confidence of the Boeing 737 MAX. We'll see if that holds steady. Nonetheless, quite a day for Boeing, down another 7% or $28. With that in mind, jump back to the Dow, 25,608. NASDAQ 100, quite a different chart, approaching highs, 72.47. We got the S&P 500, futures contract for June, trading at 28.02. Gold contract almost made it to 1300 pre market at about 830, climbing back near those levels 1298.70. Crude oil trading from about 1030 this morning at 5750. We're now down about 70 cents from that level with crude looking at the April contract trading at 5680. And pound US dollar as we got a Brexit vote coming up tonight and they're facing a lot of flack over there. Theresa May may not get what she likes, and uh, they may not have anything going on. We'll see what happens. But nonetheless, talk about volatility. Pound, 132, 132, we'll get the exact, 132.41, all the way down to 130, basically on the dot, back up to 131.5, sitting at 130.57. Quite, quite a remarkable. Jumping around to news outside of the market, pretty remarkable story just breaking in the last couple hours. I'm sure you'll be hearing plenty of this as a couple of Hollywood celebrities caught up in it as parents and coaches charged in a vast call it entrance scheme. Talking about multi-million dollars paying coaches, paying administrators for whether it's Yale, Stanford, UCLA, Georgetown, USC. Um, big time pay for play to get into college for the richest of the rich. Not bad. Pretty remarkable story. Check it out. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up right now.